how are you? I have some information on the race goals you should keep in mind. We're right back where it all began. The very first World Championship Grand Prix was held here at Silverstone in 1950, with Giuseppe Farina taking the top step of an all Alfa Romeo podium. He earned nine championship points that day on his way to the inaugural title. His winning total at the season's end, just 30 points. My, how times have changed. So let's see who can reach the top step of the modern podium today. Straddling the border of Northamptonshire and Buckinghamshire, the 18 corners of the Silverstone circuit form the 3.6-mile beating heart of Formula One. It's been reinvented over the years, with Turn 1 now the fast right-hander of Abbey, along with two DRS zones on the Wellington and Hangar Straits, respectively. But the magic of racing is as strong here as it's ever been. It's not going to be plain sailing for our drivers today, Although with the sky falling as it is, perhaps sailing isn't too far from the truth. Anthony Davidson could be a wet one today. Great to have you with us. What are your thoughts? It is a touch damp, isn't it? Well, as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions. Standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. Judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. Okay, we're looking for a top seven finish today. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position with Nico Rosberg alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel, and Raikkonen, Bottas, Massa, Magnussen, and a Renault, Button, Alonso, Sergio Perez, and Kvyat, Sainz, Verlein, Esteban Gutierrez, and Nico Hülkenberg, Harry Anto, and Grosjean, Felipe Nasser, and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track.
fantastic victory for the Silver Arrows. And I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, just what set them apart from the competition here? The difference was clearly in the strategy. You could tell they'd done a lot of work on the pit wall to really optimise each stint and get the most out of the tyres. And it highlights just how much of a team sport this really is. Um, but credit to the driver as well, though. There's no good having a well-oiled machine behind the scenes without a talented hand on the wheel, of course. And here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here, as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Mercedes, then, are on top today. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Well, the... And after this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader, and their advantage at the top has been reduced. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? It's a difficult one, but I'll have to go for the Renault driver. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt maximised their potential. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. That's it for today's Grand Prix, and from Ant and I, it's goodbye, and see you again next time. Hey, it's good news. You certainly seem to be attracting some attention. 
These papers arrived on my desk this morning. How do you feel about new surroundings? Great. I'll pass these on. 